Hey there folks, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This is episode six and we are talking about tools to help you visualize. Hey there, Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. This week we're going to talk about a couple of tools that I use to help me visualize what I'm going to write. And I say what I'm going to write because I use them when I'm actually preparing. But the tools that I'm going to talk about this week, I also use when I get stuck when I'm actually doing the writing. And they're also very good for helping writer's block. Writer's block can be like a cancer if you let it. So a lot of the times when I'm dealing with writer's block, I usually just take some time to either go for a walk or go fishing or do something that you like that's other than writing, especially something physical. And if you're not the outdoorsy type, then that's okay because the tools that we're talking about this week should be able to help you. So creatively, I like writing stage plays. And before I get started to make sure I don't get stuck in how everything's going to look and where people are going to be, I actually draw my set. I'm not a set designer, very far from it. And whatever I design is not gonna be what's produced anyway. But in my mind, I like to draw everything out like a map. And I don't spend a lot of time on it. I don't make it very elaborate. It's mostly just shapes and some entrances and some exits and where's the kitchen, where's the bathroom, this is a sofa, this is a table, those types of things. Now, for those of you who don't write stage plays, it's the same for a screenplay, especially a scene that you're having trouble envisioning in your head. Draw it out. Do a map of where everybody is. If you're writing a work of fiction like a novel, same thing. If it takes place at, say, a lake house, draw the floor plan of the lake house. Doesn't have to be elaborate. This is where the kitchen is. This is where the bedroom is. This is where the stairs to the loft is. Very simple stuff. Don't let it scare you. You might say, Ben, I can't draw. I can't draw. You can draw a square. You can draw a square inside that square, and you can draw circles inside that square. So I know you can draw a map of where your characters are actually talking. Now this next tool, I don't actually use when I'm preparing to write something. I use it when I'm actually stuck. What I do is I'll draw my character. Now I like to draw, and maybe that's not your thing, but especially if you're writing a stage play or a screenplay and you have a scene that you're having trouble working out, especially in words, then draw stick figures. Make those stick figures interact. Draw little lines and arrows as to where they move and, and how they're going to get out of the room or, or what happens next. Illustrate your beats. It's just a fun way to just get away from the words and get into something that's a little more visual. And if you're still not convinced drawing stick figures can help you get the scene out of your head, then you're going to love this next tool. Another tool that I use to visualize a scene if I'm having trouble writing it and I don't feel like drawing stick figures or drawing the characters, I grab some toys. How simple is that? Literally grab action figures, grab Lego mini figures, put them on the table, have them act out the scene, improv the scene out loud. If you have kids, go get some of their toys. Actually have them help you, it's so much fun. Tap back into when you were a kid and you were playing with action figures and when you were playing with those action figures, they weren't dolls, they were people that, you were, they, that had a story and interacting and that's all you're doing. You're going back to that to help you get ready to write what you need to write. Okay, so maybe you don't have kids and you don't have action figures laying around. And maybe you don't want to go down to the dollar store to pick up some new ones. Or you're just afraid that your friends are going to make fun of you for playing with dolls again. That's okay. I have more tools. This next tool is one of my favorites and I love doing it, especially before I start writing because it helps me develop my characters. I actually mentioned it in my episode about making a cut sheet. What I do is I cast my story. I imagine I have all the money in the world and any celebrity is willing to do my project. I will literally go onto Google and type famous actors in their 40s or famous actors in their 20s. And I cast these actors that best emulate the image of the character that I have in my head. So that way when I'm writing their dialogue, I always see their face talking. Another tool I use, this one's simple, a lot of people do it, listen to music. And specifically listen to music that emulates the story or the scene in the story. If I'm writing something intense or dramatic, if I'm writing something that's supposed to be funny, once again, it's immersing yourself into your story. Usually what helps me is listening to some classical jazz or some movie scores by Thomas Newman or John Williams. I'm sure you have your favorite music. Sometimes I'll listen to heavy metal if I'm writing a very aggressive scene. And with that, if you get writer's block or you get stuck with a scene and you do take a walk or you do go fishing, take your music with you. Or better yet, go to the place that you're writing about. If it takes place at a bed and breakfast, go to a bed and breakfast. Just walk in and ask to look around because you're planning on making a reservation. They'll let you. The last tool I'll talk about, and it's kind of out there, I don't do it very often, but it does help when I do it, and I only use it when I'm really, really stuck. Don't be embarrassed by just a little cosplay. Hey, yo, hey, yo, look at you standing there with that hat and your shirt. 
I played 20 years without a helmet. There ain't nothing wrong with me. Wrong with me. And just what the f*** do you think you're doing? I sparkle in the sunlight. It's raw, you fucking donkey. It's still in the package. What the f***? Alligators. I like a good beignet with my Sunday morning coffee. It's not a statement. It's a lifestyle choice. I sparkle. What the f***? To fill up my taxes. Ain't you tired, Hilly? Ain't you tired? That didn't look like that yesterday. This is Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hey folks, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that with the launch of this vlog, we are going to be running a contest and I'm gonna run a new contest every two months. So for this first two months, we are going to do a naked selfie contest. So no you gotta... naked selfie contests. Stick to the script. Fine. What the contest will be is email me a subject or a topic you'd like me to do an episode for. And if I choose your topic, and I will choose a topic for every contest period, then I'll send you a copy of one of my plays for free. So for this first two months, we're going to feature Skin in the Games. And if you want to learn more about it, then visit BenFarrellWriter.com and click on Stage Plays. It's not as exciting as a naked selfie contest, but at least it's free stuff. Ben Farrell for Ben Farrell Freelance. I'll catch you next time.